So we're the Connect VR team. My name is Philippe. Some of you may know me or not. Um, this is Xing, Chewy, Pierre, Zach, and Lisa. So everyone on this stage except me um, doesn't really have much programming experience or, or 3D experience and such. Um, I'm a developer. I've been developing since, since I've been like 15. So uh, it comes as second nature to me. So Connect VR is a framework that I developed about a year, a year and a half ago that's an open source framework that allows you to do full body positional tracking in mobile VR. You can put on a mobile VR headset and you could move around in a 3D space somewhat like an HTC Vive, but you can actually see your whole body inside the VR. That's kind of the, the history of it. There's, there's a little bit more there too, but I won't go into that as much. Now, what was what we were trying to do here at this Artahack? Um, so, Kinect VR pretty much started out kind of like, this is uh, the older version of it, um, is a very, very technical framework. So, um, you really needed to, to have a decent amount of programming experience in Unity, in Node.js, um, you, you needed to know C Sharp, you needed to really go in and, and tweak a lot of settings, set up all of this, these complicated development environments to be able to get this full body experience in VR. Um, so our goal going into Artahack was to make Connect VR more artistic. So how do we create this very technical framework and bring it to someone that maybe has never done anything in VR? Um, so we have a few people here up on stage that have actually never done anything that in 3D or in Unity or whatsoever, but within a day we had them up and running and actually building environments in VR and they were able to step into these environments and explore these environments. So what you see right here is the installation that we have set up over uh, in the corner over there. Basically what we achieved during Artahack in these four weeks, actually four Saturdays, is that we were able to go from that little uh, stick figure that you can see just the tracking points that some of you may know that's motion capture um, but we actually now have full body avatars um, that you can download from Mixamo some of you don't know what Mixamo is it's a repository of animations and characters um, so you can be embodied as a character you can see yourself as a character, and the best part is if another person is wearing a headset as well, you can see them right next to you as a virtual character. And that's not the best part. The best part is that you can actually interact in this virtual environment. So you can press buttons, you can break walls. The other user can also change your environment by, because you're both in the same environment. Everything's wireless, and all it requires is just one connect V2 and a smartphone. Um, here we're running uh, Samsung Gears, but um, it also works with Google Cardboard. So here you can see, just so here you can see the same data being streamed on the projector and on a Mac, which as some of you may know, Connect is a Microsoft product. It does not work with Mac, but with our framework, we can stream it over Wi-Fi. So here you see Chewy actually embodying Lauren and Lauren's finding this very amusing because Lauren would never do dance moves like this in ever in his life. <laughs> so we actually had a 3D scanned model of Lauren and we rigged it through Mixamo and we put it in Kinect VR and it just works. And if you put on a headset, you could also be Lauren, <laughs> for example, or someone else could be. Um, now there's multiple, multiple things you could do with this, but um, some of the things that come to my mind are really like the embodiment and the avatar. Uh, it's, it's quite an experience to actually wear it and try it. Um, you know, seeing it in a video is one thing, you know, people say VR, you don't really know it until you try it. But um, being embodied as a character and actually moving around and if there's like a 3D object in front of you, you can duck and look around that 3D object and, and interact with it, it's really like brings a whole new level of immersion to VR. And what our project Connect VR does, it's an open source project. Everyone can download it on GitHub, look at all the source code. During Artahack, we were able to get to beta 0 0.6. What's up there right now on the website is 0 0.5, but um, that'll be updated very soon. In any case, to make it short, um, this is 
really democratizing VR. You don't need an expensive one thousand something dollar computer and a eight hundred dollar HTC Vive or an Oculus Touch or whatever. It's the same smartphone that's in your pocket with Kinects that are lying around all around the world, not being used for anything. Microsoft actually thought it was a flop of a product. I personally think that, that um, it's, it's an, quite an amazing product. Um, and here you can see how, how two users are actually changing worlds for each other. Um, so that's the demo that you're all going to be able to try over there in the, in, in the corner of that room. Um, it's really a lot of fun. Uh, there's a lot of things that we wanted to do that we didn't have time to do, but that's okay. Um, the great people at Artahack were always encouraging, and they were telling us that that's okay. That you know, this is this is it, it's a growing process, and uh, we're all here to 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 evolve and and to learn from each other. And uh, most of us here have never worked together, um, but we've all found a flow in working together. There was inspiration coming from all sides. Um, so, um, you know, Sheen and Chewy are creative technologists. They kind of do, in general, like, you know, in college you guys are doing some, some programming and stuff. Not like, you know, at, at a company or anything like that, you know. Uh, Lisa's a filmmaker, for example. There's, there's a lot of different backgrounds, but um, the programming wasn't there. And the idea is, how do we make that democratic? How do we make this easily accessible for everyone? So 0 0.6 has made it a lot easier, and I'm planning on taking it even a lot further and making it so much easier that any of you can create art and, and go into it, not just by yourself, but with your friends, without extremely expensive hardware. Um, yeah, that's it. Um. <laughs>